we have a lot of uh, traditions. Uh, some of them include uh, playing wiffle ball at uh, family reunions and uh, getting really angry while playing croquet at family reunions and throwing mallets around. Uh, other things we do include listening to uh, 60s protest songs as Christmas songs, just because it's weird. Uh, but one of the biggest things that binds our family together is our love of baseball. So uh, today I'm going to talk to you, I've seen 24 stadiums, so I'm going to talk to you about uh, three of the trips. One of them is just a group of trips uh, that uh, we uh, have taken to get me to that uh, point. So uh, let's start with all right, so in 2005, this was our very first. Um, this is our very first actual baseball trip. It was me, uh, my brother Nick, my dad, my uh, grandfather, and one of my cousins. Uh, he uh, just tagged along. We uh, saw Pittsburgh. We went to the Baseball Hall of Fame, and then we saw Toronto and Detroit. Uh, Pittsburgh is still my favorite stadium. You can see just the beautiful skyline in the background uh, and the best part is is that the Pirates usually suck so there's really cheap seats um, it's just my favorite stadium hands down uh, you can take a ferry to the game which we did and uh, we had a blast and I really enjoyed uh, hanging out with my family uh, my grandfather who can't doesn't travel as much anymore uh, it was a really nice way to get out and uh, have a good time with family oh. One other thing, uh, one of the one of the funny stories about uh, Tiger Stadium um, is when we uh, went there, we sat in the outfield, uh, and right next to us was a guy in a full-blown Tiger like mascot outfit, and uh, I just remember like looking to my cousin and uh, my dad going, my dad saying, "Don't look now, but there's a tiger right next." To um, the dude was pretty cool though. He uh, he wasn't all there, I don't think, but uh, he was he was there celebrating, so he was he was a cool dude. Um, so between 2007 and 2012, uh, that's a rough estimate. I, we might have done one in 13. We uh, did what we call weekend trips, where we'd hit one to two stadiums in an area over like a three day, three or four day weekend. Um, so we went to see like Baltimore and Philadelphia uh, at the same time or uh, Texas and uh, Houston at the same time. Uh, we obviously went to see Wrigley, was a big one. Um, we would go with these with a, a group of friends. Uh, my brother had a friend and we would go with his family. Um, so we were all just kind of one big thing. Uh, my grandfather would go uh, and uh, we went to see Cincinnati and actually, uh, we actually saw Walt Jockety there who was the Cardinals GM at the time. And we saw, when we were walking back from the stadium, we saw David Eckstein, who is a big name, obviously. So we would hit up, we'd do this uh, once a summer, and we'd just hit two stadiums at a time. So it, we got that done really quick. Um, and then just last summer uh, was our West Coast trip. And uh, these pictures are all taken by my brother this summer. So um, we uh, hit seven stadiums in 14 days. So we arrived in Las Vegas and we drove to Phoenix. We saw a game there and then we drove to Los Angeles. We saw a game in Los Angeles and then San Diego and then Anaheim. And we drove to San Francisco, saw a game in Oakland and San Francisco. And we drove to uh, Seattle and saw a game in Seattle. So that was all over the course of two weeks. Um, it was really nice. It was just my family, so uh, me and my brother, my youngest brother finally went on a trip. Uh, he is 12 now, so he just he's old enough to appreciate it now. Um, so what we have here is uh, Dodger Stadium. I wasn't a huge fan of this one, even though it's obviously the sky's gorgeous. Uh, this is about how far you see from the game. Um, not a huge fan of it. Petco Park is my number two stadium. Uh, it's gorgeous. Uh, and this is Angel Stadium in Vanheim, where we got to see Albert Pujols play. Um, we got to see him hit a home run, so that was uh, really cool. Uh, we were the you know few people in the stands. Every time he'd come over, like we love you, Albert, and people would look at us weird because we had Cardinals gear on. So, um, so I always get asked what my top ten stadiums have been to. I just want to mention that the four that I haven't been to are Washington, Boston, and both New Yorks. So they're not up on the list right now. So to start off is PNC Park, which was the one earlier uh, in Pittsburgh. Petco is in San Diego right there. 
uh, Oriole Park at Camden Yards is this one, and it was the original like new wave stadium, like old throwback. That's actually an old warehouse building that they just closed down the street in between it and there, and it's part of the stadium. Uh, Safeco Field in Seattle, I don't have a picture of that one, but it's really nice. Um, Bush Stadium in St. Louis, obviously I'm Homer. AT&T Park in San Francisco is right up against the bay, uh, so that's pretty cool. Target Field is really modern. Uh, it's in Minneapolis. It's like all weird and stuff. It's like a modern architecture thing. Coors Field in Denver uh, is up in, my, you know, up in Denver, so it's East Hill and runs all the time. Wrigley Field in Chicago. I love the history of Wrigley Field. I actually, this is one of the ones I don't talk about. Wrigley Field, I love the history. Um, I love the fact that there used to be no scoreboards there, so there wasn't like, oh, look, it's a kiss cam in between games. It was just baseball. Um, they've obviously changed that, but uh, the reason it falls so low is because there's a lot of obstructed seats and uh, it smells like pee. Uh, it really does. There's pee troughs in the bathrooms. It's not pee. And then Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City is really cool because it has fountains on the outfield and uh, it, they've really redone it really well. So those are my uh, stadiums. All right. Totally forgot about that. Uh, it's from one of my favorite movies. It's from Field of Dreams. And uh, the character Terrence Mann says it. Uh, he says, uh, the one constant through all the years, Ray, has been baseball. America has rolled by like an army of steamrollers. It has been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. But baseball has marked the time. This field, this game, it's part of our past. It reminds us all of the what it reminds us all of, the, of all that was once good and could be good again. People will come, Ray. People will most definitely come. <laughs>